Hi there, I'm Sahil Rastogi, a senior firmware engineer here at Avishka. Avishka has launched a new version of AMS on its website. And in this video, we are going to talk about the new interface of AMS AI. Open up Chrome browser on your laptop and log on to avishka.cc. Once the website opens up, you can sign in on the website using this option over here. You can log in either using your mobile number or any of your social media accounts. I'm going to log in using my mobile number for this example. Once you're logged in, you can access the AMS using this button over here. Select AMS AI from these two options. Once AMS opens up, you are welcome with this pop-up over here. Over here, you have the option to code with Avishka hardware. Select this mode if you want to program your Avishka brain units. The second option is code with artificial intelligence. Select this mode to program your own AI models and control your bot connected over BLE. And the third section is recent files. Over here, you can see your five most recent projects that you have been working on. For the purpose of this video, we are going to select code with Avishka hardware. Once you select code with Avishka hardware, you will see all these options. The first one is your robotic series. So over here, you can select either uh, Light 2.0 BLE Brain or Full 2.0 BLE Brain. The second option is your MakerBoard series, from which you can select MakerBoard 2. And the third option is your MaxCore series, from where you can select MaxCore and MaxCore Plus Brains. For this video, we are going to select MakerBoard 2.0 option. Once you select MakerBoard 2.0, you are welcome with the main AMS window. So the main AMS window is divided into four parts. The first one is a header, where you have your basic options like opening up a new project, opening up any of your pre-existing uh, pre saved projects, downloading your current project, and checking out the examples. Over here, you can give a name to your project and save it. And then you have the options to compile your program and burn your program. On the left, we have the blocks library, which is vertical right now, as opposed to horizontal in the previous version of AMS. In the center, we have the main workspace where you will be creating your actual program. And on the right, we have the make a boot simulation. Creating a program is same as before. Just drag and drop a block into the workspace like this. I'm going to drag another block. Now to save a program, just give it some name. Uh, for this, let's say I just name it test run. Click on save button. Then you can compile your program. And then the burn button becomes active. Over here, you have two options. So the previous option of using AMS burn tool still stands. You can just download your AVX file and use ABT to burn the code. The second new option is BLE Connect, through which you can connect to your brain using Bluetooth and program it over the air. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this video will be helpful for you to get started with AMS AI. If you have any doubts, feel free to reach out to us in the comment section below or contact us at support at avishka.cc. Thank you.